Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature within a Microsoft Teams meetings that you can actually add a YouTube channel and watch together. So let's see how we do it. I'll schedule a meeting and let's call it meeting and I will invite a user and uh, let's just save it. Now, what we can do is actually to edit the meeting and either we can click here on the plus and add the YouTube app. We can do it also uh, during the meeting. Uh, and we see here uh, three possibilities. Uh, search and pin the video to chat and channel and then send it to the chat. And we have a third option which is in preview to watch uh, videos together. So let's click on save. We'll see here the ad, the app, we can search for uh, some, uh, let's look for SharePoint wizard, wizard, and we will see, uh, we see the possibility either to watch the video or to pin the, to tab or to open in a browser. I will choose to <coughs> open the, the meeting and I will join and I will mute myself and actually what I see here is actually this YouTube uh, app. If I don't have it, I can actually click on this plus and choose uh, the app that appears here. So um, me is uh, creating the meeting. I can actually click this and uh, it says grab the popcorn and I can search for the video. So let's look for SharePoint wizard again. That's my YouTube channel. Let's look for something. Just a second. Taking too much time. Here we are. Okay, so let's choose this video. And you you see here actually, I can either add to the quote or I can uh, click on uh, watch together. Let's see uh, what we have here on top. On the three dots here, we can rename the, the name of the video. So let's call it YouTube SharePoint Wizard. And what else we can do here? We can actually uh, remove totally. This will uh, uh, put us in, in sharing. So let's click now, uh, watch together. By the way, here we have a copy, copy of the video. We can open it in the browser. Let's click watch together. Now you see it's moving to sharing and this is a uh, live sharing. So uh, you see the video is ready. Here we also have a group control. Not sure exactly what it does, but uh, let's activate it. Maybe <coughs> the control is actually by uh, the group. Let's start playing it. And uh, by default, it's unmuted. So, so we stopped. And actually, uh, I think this is a great way um, to present a video uh, where the performance is much better instead of just sharing your screen and then you need to share your uh, volume. Let's just show you how, you how you do it like that. So actually what I would do uh, in different cases, I would go to the share, I will click the sc screen and uh, by the way, I would uh, include, sorry, I would include the volume of the, you see here, include computer sound. So I would include this and add this, and then uh, I would do it, but uh, that's uh, not a good way. Uh, in addition, it's possible within the PowerPoint to put a link to 
to the YouTube and then play it and, and then the performance will be uh, very good. Uh, just to note that uh, this uh, feature actually they say uh, try it only in public preview because it's not uh, matured. Uh, let's just remove that. I want to show you the, the message. Here we are. Okay, let's try again. Let's join. So, uh, actually when I add the YouTube app, uh, you see here, if I click here, YouTube live chair preview, uh, it's in testing and uh, it says uh, to avoid uh, using this feature associated, do not use it in this application message or ops that are out of the public developer preview. So there's some links. Uh, I guess it will uh, work uh, with two users that have public preview. Uh, check it out and uh, let me know what you think. Goodbye.